Hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu. Um, next step would be to uh, hook up the toroid and the DSRD uh, diodes. But uh, I got some reaction from Furbish to first try to determine the uh, saturation point of this uh, small toroid. Uh, so what did I do? I hooked up uh, a... I removed the 100 ohm, you can see it at the moment. I hooked up, uh, I removed the 100 ohm load resistor from the drain. And I installed a uh, 0.1. The black resistor 5 watts. It's a big one but it didn't have any small. Uh, in series with the primary of this toroid. So we have the supply voltage, the 20 volt coming in to the resistor and then to the primary back to the drain. And I have my probe across this black resistor. ground point to the, uh, the side where the toroid is connected and the other tip at the supply point uh, use the red probe. Um, so I'm basically measuring the voltage across this uh, 0.1 actually it's 0 0.17 ohms I measured it and it's 15 ohms uh, micro Henry inductance so I guess that's a little bit too much but it's the only 0.1 resistor I have. Um, I have hooked up both power supplies again <coughs> the 12 volt and the uh, other side uh, power supply which can go to 40 volt I have put it to 12 volts at the normal logic side and 20 volt at the moment at the, the, the MOSFET drain. And this is the pulse uh, I get. I'm working at the shortest pulse I can uh, get 70 nanoseconds. And uh, I guess we see here the influence of the uh, inductance of the uh, 0 0.1 uh, because I have a a lot of spikes again. We are at uh, 10 volt per division, 100 nanosecond. And uh, I guess this is the uh, the current going through this resistor. It's about 70 nanoseconds, but we have a lot of ringing afterwards. Uh, we can see the voltage goes up to uh, 64 volts peak to peak, but uh, when I crank up the time base, we are now at 50 nanosecond and increase. I guess this is the pulse we should uh, try to watch for the saturation of the, the ringing of the uh, toroid. And it is now all the way up, reaching the limit uh, of this nice scale. So we are now all the way up in the blue line, I guess. And we should see a tip there when it starts saturating. But I can increase the voltage all the way up to 40 volts, so what I will do now. And you see the uh, pulsing gets, the ringing gets much worse. But we still have no... Uh, so this is 40 volts at the drain. I'm pulling no current at all according to the power supply, it's zero zero, same there. So I have no current running, there's nothing getting hot at the moment. 
I can measure the toroid room temperature 20 degrees I can measure the resistor it's also 20 degrees so we have no heat we have no current running and no heat while this shows that we are at uh, 2 volts per division I have 4 volts across uh, this uh, resistor I guess so I'm not sure how to continue I guess I have a wrong uh, measuring resistor because we have a lot of uh, inductance I guess which uh, showing this this noise I can decrease the voltage now from the drain and I can go all the way till which is now zero volt this is four volts slowly increasing up to 16 volts now all the way to 40 volts so I think in this range we do not see any saturation of the core there's, there's no current uh, running I guess because nothing is getting hot although the the scope shows uh, some uh, some shots there. So I'm I'm a little bit puzzled uh, how I have to interpret this uh, this signal, and uh, I guess I have to go find me a uh, induction-free resistor. Okay, thank you for all your suggestions and uh, advices. Uh, thank you for watching also.